Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with another Let's Play, and today I'm going to be doing the Vanilla Doom, and I actually just got done doing the Secrets in Donut Land, so I figured I'd uh, play more than like 10 minutes, and I'll beat the Vanilla Doom, and hopefully beat it all in this video. And so, we're just going to get started with level 1. And I'm not going to do any secret levels, I'm just going to mess around with and hopefully beat the normal ones, and save the secret levels for another day. And I just realized in this video, before I did this one, that I didn't sync the last one, so I'm going to probably have fun syncing it, even though it will be up before this one. And it's really just kind of not important right now. I'm not sure you've been hearing me talk about that, because it will be up and it will be viewed. But we're just, we are going to do this secret, because it's not really a secret, it's just... I think this is the Switch Palace. Oh no, I just wasted my time doing that. Well, there's a bunch of levels, actually, that are that way. So, I'm not going to mess around with that. We are just going to beat the regular levels. Because that actually takes you outside, and there's a dolphin level out there, and it takes you above and down, and another, there's a, like a sub castle, whatever you want to call them. That gets annoying. Some of these levels get pretty nasty. I prefer the cape. Just because I can control how fast I fall. I'm just gonna go ahead there. I know there's probably some. I know there's shortcuts in here that I'm just not gonna get to. Oh crap, this is that one where. This is where the cape doesn't come in handy. But there it does. It's better if you don't because then you don't have to. You actually get the one up. I should probably get that. Knowing how lucky I am, ah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Surely I shouldn't die. I realized that I pressed this button right here a lot. In the last video, it actually got kind of annoying having to listen to it, but that's just how it goes, I guess. I'm not doing it on purpose to be annoying. There we go. I just like it, I guess. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. I don't know how many Let's Plays this is actually going to be. Because I'm trying to think how many different like level sets there are. Vanilla Dome. Secret Vanilla Dome. Um, the Plane. The Bridge. I might do the Butter Bridge and the Bridge. In the same... In the Secrets in the same video. I don't know yet. I know there's a secret for this one, too. I don't know if I'm going to mess with it or not. This is the Switch Palace. I don't know if I want to deal with it. I feel like there was something there before. Like a, I don't know. Weird flashbacks. I'm pretending that there's actually things that happen in here that actually don't happen. Yeah, I might skip the uh, Pink Switch Palace for now. Even though it would probably help me out immensely. I will skip it in favor of getting this video done. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> Man, I'm just terrible at this right now. Oh, didn't get it. Oh well, not a big deal. Man, I'm only like four minutes in and I'm already like beast in half these levels. If I do have time at the end, I'll go back and do the Switch Palace after the castle. But I doubt I will. I highly doubt I will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this ghost house has one exit. And I have no idea which one this is. Now I do. I always thought this used to be like the creepiest music ever. And it, is, it is still kind of creepy. Oh, this is a stupid one with those green bubbles, isn't it? I hate this one. If it's that's that's the one that it is, which I think it is. One of these is a... It's that one, it's that one, and I'm dying just to have it. I have no idea what's up here. It might be a secret exit. No, it's just coins. Yeah, just coins. And an easier way out. Yeah, this is a... Oh, I hate this one. I never knew green bubbles could hurt, but I guess they're, they're like toxic. And it's really weird because the ground disappears inside of them. Yeah. 
these are not fun. I remember these used to be so hard. At least for me they would be. And then I always forget to actually like take this with me and I'd hit it and just not get to it in time and it'd be a bad time. It'd be terrible. I remember when that level actually used to be super hard. And I just breezed through it without a problem. Still a good game though. Just because it might be a little bit easier. Still a great game. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. I think I say that every time, but... I mean, I'm enjoying it. I still gotta figure out a game I wanna do next. I really wanna do a Zelda game. But they're, they'll be long. At least I feel like they would be. Like, if I did A Link to the Past, I'd be playing that game for a long time. Because, like, I, it takes me a long time to beat that game just playing it without even, like, worrying about recording it and doing decent video links and stuff. I don't know. I might do a Game Boy game or a Game Boy Advance game because Game Boy Advance games are awesome. Blargs. What, the only Zelda game that I do not own is um, Oracle of Ages. It's the only game I do, have not owned. I have played it and I have beaten it. I borrowed it from a friend, but I have not owned that game. It's the only Zelda game I don't own. I own the original, I own um, Zelda 2, not on the actual Nintendo system, but I have it on Virtual Console, and uh, Link's Adventure is actually the only Zelda game I've never beaten, but I do own them. Oh gosh, that is a Yoshi, isn't it? Oh well, I don't care. Um, I've beaten every game, except for Aven Link's Adventure or whatever, Adventure of Link. But uh, I own every other one, except for Oracle of Ages. Ma I own Master Quest, um, Skyward Sword, Arcade of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Link's Awakening, um, Oracle of Seasons. I own Four Swords, Four Swords Adventure. Um, there might be, I don't know if there's a Four Swords game that I don't own or not. I can't remember, because there's like 20 of them. There might be some that I haven't taken like full advantage of them and all of its features, but I'm pretty sure I own them. Oh, I wanted to fly so bad. But that one ended well. Oh gosh, I feel like there's one in each one. But yeah, as far as Mario games, I don't own... Do I own every Mario game? Mario. I own Mario for the Nintendo Entertainment System, but as far as like... Lost Levels and Super Mario Brothers 2. I own, I have like the Super Mario All Stars card for Super Nintendo, and I have some on Virtual Console. I own a lot of Mario. I might own every Mario game, like every main title Mario game, not like Hotel Mario or whatever. I just actually bought a Super Mario RPG freshman or junior year in college and beat it. I can't remember sometime in college, but before that I never played it. And I never really had an interest, but actually is a really good game. So this, this video might be a little longer than 10 minutes. Won't be near 26 like number two was. Oh, this was a pain in the rear end. But if you do like seeing people fail multiple times and you get enjoyment out of people doing terrible, then you definitely should watch number two of this Let's Play series because I absolutely did terrible at this game. It gets not even funny how bad I was. Now, I, I blame a lot on controller, and that is, was part of it because it was sticking and I couldn't press left. I'm using the joystick now instead of the D-pad, which I would prefer the D-pad, but I can't complain. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of me making a fool of myself and not doing anything right. I'm going to fly with this thing. Bam! I thought I fell on that so mad. Kept up with that guy. Flew through that level. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Castle's next. Hooray. Hooray for the castle. Lemmy's castle. I think it said Lemmy. Maybe it didn't. I can't remember. Oh, this one's annoying and I pressed the wrong button. I tried to use a D-pad instead of the actual. And, and then I get myself into this trouble. <laughs>
there's like an easier way to do all this. Oh, man. Oh, there, of course, I can get out without a problem. Pretty sure that door would take me to like somewhere that's easier to get, like. See ya! To get like a mushroom or something. Can't believe I actually did that that well. <laughs> I'm surprised with myself. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions of games you'd like to see me play, uh, I'm not going to be playing probably any Wii or Wii U games commentary because I don't have the right equipment and I don't want to run emulators for Wii and the Wii U on my computer because even though I have like a quad core whatever and 16 gigabytes of RAM, I just don't feel like doing that on my computer because I like playing those console games on the console even though I'm playing this on the computer. I just I just much rather play Game Boy Advance games and Super Nintendo games on an emulator. So, I mean, I'm open to suggestions. Definitely. Why did I not jump? I'm wasting my time. But I definitely I definitely want to do a Zelda game. I'm not sure when or which one. Um Usually if I do that, I usually just slide in the side. Oh well. This is lame. Start the whole way back at the beginning. I have no idea how to get down there besides, like, doing that jump. I guess if I... If were to do that. That'll work. Oh, man, really? said this one wouldn't be too long, and I hoped to keep that promise. Okay. I'm going to probably cut and go get, like, a mushroom or something, because I am just not doing well right now. I know some people might say, that's cheap, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't care. I've beaten this game so many times, I have nothing to prove. I just don't feel like messing around. This will make it ten times easier. Why did I not get the fire flower to just fire flower them? Is that how you say that? Or how about just light them on fire? That'd be a good way to say it. That's one, that level's so secret it doesn't even get like a background of like white or tan or whatever. Like a road background. It's like in the wilderness. Okay, this one will be beat this time. I have no idea what I was saying. Oh yeah, I'm invincible. Except for when that happens. Dang it! See ya. Oh yeah, halfway point. A one up. Oh my gosh, I'm down to four. I need that. That's ridiculous. I will make it this time. Did I say about Metroid? I don't know if I said about Super Metroid or not. I think I was saying that as I was falling the first time. Um, I like Super Metroid. I don't think I'd be able to do a let's play of it because. I get so confused that I always have to look stuff up, and yeah, I'm not really proud of that. I mean, I don't really care, but I'd just be pausing all the time looking stuff up. Cause I have played it before without like looking stuff up, but it literally takes forever, and I don't feel like waiting forever to get through a game. Is there a lot of thing there? I don't care. This is the one where I fell in. This is why I like to, uh, whatchamacallit, Kate. Because you can just glide and take your time and do whatever you want. And it might be this one, or it might be another one, where you can glide past the door and get, like, one-ups. It's a different ent entrance into the boss, but I'm not going to even try it if it's this one. 
because I'd like to actually finish the level. I'm not sure why that piece is right there that comes down. Maybe to scare you into thinking, oh my gosh. Oh, not this one. It's got to be a different one. Boop. Which one is this? Oh, this guy. Yeah! Like I said, I remember when that used to be so hard. I was like, oh my gosh, that fireball's gonna hit me. Not today. Not today. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this Let's Play. I beat Vanilla Dome, all the main levels. I will be doing probably Vanilla no Vanilla Dome. Vanilla Dome secret levels for the next le next Let's Play. And all the levels that go above Vanilla Dome. I'm pretty sure Mario's triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of Castle 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Found the green. I know where the red's at, just chose not to get them. But I'm pretty sure the next set is the bridges. And I'll just go there now just to check. Yes, save. Yeah, it's the bridges. Um, the Vanilla Dome Seekers take you up to that little mini castle and they bring you down to the bridges. And there's a bridge up top. You can actually bypass this cheese bridge. But we'll do that in the next video. We'll play those levels. And so, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe up top. And follow me on all my social links. Those are in the description below. And don't forget to share these videos, whether it be my Let's Play videos or my tech reviews and or other game reviews. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.